Hi, I'd like to walk through making a basic activity diagram in Lucidchart. So if you go to lucidchart.com and then register to use uh, the software, you'll be logged in and hit a dashboard page that looks something like this. The first thing you want to do is click the New button. And I will select Blank Document. After a few moments, a blank uh, diagramming page will appear. And over on the left side, I have two palettes for diagramming. Uh, technically, I could make an activity diagram using the tools that are already here, but I want to select a palette that is specific to UML activity diagrams. So I'm going to click on Shapes, and it brings up a list of libraries of shapes and I'm going to scroll down to UML and you'll see on the right hand side that there are different types of UML symbols that are available and I'm going to click on UML state activity and click use selected shapes. So now over here on the left hand side I have a group of symbols that are used for not only activity diagrams but also for state, state diagrams which we're not going to be making at this particular time. Okay. Um, so here, let me just talk about some of the key shapes here. There are a lot of them. For basic diagramming, I typically want to use a start symbol, an end symbol, uh, the action or an action state. Some people call this the activity. Um, this action symbol is one of the key ones we're going to be working with. Um, we might also do branching and merging or split into parallel flows using these type of symbols or create a swim lane so that we can designate different people who are doing different tasks in our activity. Uh, for now though, I'm just going to make a basic activity diagram that walks through the process of making some cooked eggs. So I'm going to click on this symbol and drag it onto the page. Then I'm going to click on this symbol right here to get an action. Now I happen to know that I'm going to need about five different actions. So I'm just going to preemptively put those on the page. And then I'm going to click the end state icon, end activity icon. And um, now I need to connect these. Now I, I also need to put uh, the, the name of the action in there, a verb noun phrase, uh, but first I'll connect these. So first I will click on a symbol, and when I click on a symbol, I see these little red dots around there. If I click on one of these red dots, if I hover over it, it turns dark red, and if I click on it and drag it over to the white circle on another symbol, it creates an arrow. So let me click on this one again, hover over the red dot, collect and connect it that way. So I'm just continually hovering over and connecting each of these actions. All right, now I need to add the content of my process. So my first item is going to be remove eggs from fridge. My second step, and by the way, to type on these, I just click on the symbol and start typing preheat pan, click on this one, break eggs, cook eggs, and move eggs from pan. Now there are other options that I could build into a diagram like this, such as creating decisions like which type of eggs I might be making, uh, and so I could uh, branch and do some other sophisticated things, but uh, it, for this particular moment in time, I just wanted to show this basic way of doing it. Uh, another thing I can do to clean this up, just for giggles, is I'm going to highlight it, right-click and say distribute uh, horizontally, and now everything is nicely arranged so they're equally distanced uh, one from another. 